is going to make things a lot easier for the West Indies because we've seen that this pitch has a bit of first match in international cricket and it's a cracking shot by Wavell Hines just offering a little bit of width the young man will be a little nervous it'll take some time for him to find his feet Srinath will continue well, that's a glorious shot there is the point but he can only be a spectator there's a ball race all four games before this match anything slightly he's got that through second boundary of the over glorious this time of the front foot now this is hit now that's a fine shot that's it ramrod straight straight down the ground that's it <laughs> slower delivery he's put that into the crowd wavel hines he picked it up he had time to adjust and a nice uh, full back swing so the young man here getting an early taste of uh, international cricket that's a meaty blow. Well, if I were Balaji, I'd be looking towards my skipper and saying, please bring Habijan on because I cannot sustain or cannot take this punishment anymore. He went through with the shot quite nicely. That's gone past the offside ring. Into the boundary. That's the problem if you give with outside the off Over the top. And seems like he's got enough bad. It was a completely mistimed shot, but still good enough for a four. War zone here. And it continues for Wavell Hines. This is a good clean hit, well clear of the ropes. Hands go up, Ashoka de Silva. And another six. Straight down the ground. That was a good shot. Called Jabagal Srinath, the last two overs weren't bad overs at all. Wavell Hines this time looking to hit straight down the ground and this time connecting with the full face of the bat. There was an unfortunate lady in the flight of that ball. No one was gallant enough to take the catch, so she suffered. Sweep shot, played well, just bouncing inside the rope. Another boundary for Wavell Hines. There is a man out deep on the leg side waiting for the sweep. But Weber Hines was very good with that shot. It started off just in front of Square, landed just behind Square. And that will bring up his 50. Four more to Weber Hines. He moves on to 52. And it's one of the quicker 50s that we've seen in the series. Just the 32 balls. A strike rate of 162.5 for for the first ball to hit the boundary. Oh yes. There she goes. This is the biggest that we've seen today. The third one and the biggest. This was well struck again by Wavell Hines. Not a great deal of spin there for Berenda Sewag. Just playing right through the line. That went a long way. A very long way. Uh, both very powerful hitters of the ball with Hines and Chris Gale. And anybody who's at the ground, outside the ground, better keep their eyes on the ball. In the 12th over. It's taken the area route again and Morley Karthik has been tested there. Where has it landed? Has it landed on the rope? It looked like it would travel one bounce to Murli Karthik. He was getting around to his right hand side. He's not sure. Well, it either landed on the rope or over the rope. It certainly didn't bounce in front of the rope. Over the rope. That's six. Just needed one angle to get that confirmation. And again, the arms go up. And again, it's Wavell Hines who's hit the car the wheel. That smashed away. Excellent footwork. That is fractionally short, but so quickly was Hines onto that back foot. 
but he got the placement right. He had that extra bit of time. This is well played. You just get the sense too that the snowball effect of this batting, the momentum of it, it just just keeps gathering pace. It's incredible. And I like the way they've welcomed Harbhajan Singh to the crease. That's it, put down. The opportunity was there. And he was beaten in the flight. And got the outside edge and Lakshman putting that down. And the shake of the bowler's head said it all. Deceived in the flight and the bounce was good. And Lakshman got there. And I'm afraid that is regulation. The opportunity comes along and it gets put down. And he goes for the big one. And just clears Srinath. In fact, Srinath takes the catch and goes over the line. So he starts off with a six. Just when I said that uh, it's the time has come to milk the bowling. Uh, where will Hines? He has other ideas. Oh, fantastic, isn't it here? Because, okay, it's not a big ground. And he goes for another one. He stop it this time. The catch taken by Saurav Ganguly. And finally, India breakthrough. Saurav, he's done the damage. Done the trick for his skipper. And finally, this partnership is broken. Nice bit of air. And Hines, well, he wanted to smash this again out of the ground. And he's just succeeded in top-edging it. Skipper takes it. He's gone for 80. 132 for one.